Johnny Two Face here, back with another reaction video. This time, I'm reacting to "These Lads Must Be Stopped" by MK. Now, according to the description on the video, it's from their r slash Mad Lads uh, subreddit, and I don't know why they can't put it in the title. I just, I just don't know why they can't be bothered to put it in the title anymore. But hey, what do I know? Anyway, but. You know by now that MK duh, is one of the best channels for... Sorry, don't know why I've done that in front of my nose. Um, One of the best channels for looking up subreddits and the narration, whether it be Robin, Damien, Jack, or Lexi doing the um, commentary. And... Uh, r slash uh, madlads is another decent subreddit. It's like... It's like cursed comments, but a bit more, if you know what I mean. But that's just how I see it. But but anyway, the link to the original video will be in the description down below. Please go and subscribe to MK and um, check out their channel. And um, and uh, another thing I should point out, they give a good idea what subreddits to look on if you're on Reddit. Reddit. So, God, um, sound like a record skip. Anyway... I'm not going to ramble on much longer, so I'll just get this up on screen, and uh, let's see what happens in this video. All right, what are you doing? You're talking on the phone, you're drinking wine, you're eating a burger, wow. and you're smoking a cigarette. You, my... Well, of course he's drinking. University of Dublin, Ireland. I don't know about the other three are normal, but the drinking's normal. Sorry. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh, if there's any Irish people watching, they're going to absolutely rinse me in the comments for that one. Uh, uh, it's all jokes. I l you gotta love the Irish. They're brilliant. My good friend should probably be on the banner for Mad Lads. <laughs> when they said it, they meant it. Mm -hmm. I'm crazy. I'm gonna do that. You can't stop me. <laughs> Get it? Because AirPods uh. are not made by the biggest competitor to Apple, Samsung. Update post. They have actually arrived, and I have zero regrets. I mean, good for you, I guess. Mm. Sure, man. Public domain. <laughs> I uploaded wow. it a day early. I'm such a naughty boy. <laughs> Was it really January 1st that he went into public domain? I thought it was a few mm. days after that. You know what? Who gives uh, a rat's ass? Nah, Disney lawyers sharpening their knives. Their knives. That's supposed to be a V. Dumbass. Knives? Huh? Whatever makes you feel better. My wife's paycheck was just deposited into our joint checking account. Th uh, I, I don't know about... I'm... I don't know about marriages, because the way my life's going, I don't think I'll ever get that far in my life, but, um, if I ever get to this point, we are not having a joint account. That is not happening. Sorry. I don't believe in joint accounts unless it's with a bank manager. Or a politician, because they always got money to spare. They deserve, they deserve to have money taken off them. That's passive That's income. Just get more wives and profit. That should say, that should actually say go bankrupt in, let's say, a month. It. Mad Lad re-uploads a Kids Bop song to add to his playlist. I'm re-uploading a Kids wow. Bop song specifically to add it to my playlist. Oh, do you use YouTube music? Mm. Yesterday, my colleague called me a book murderer because I cut long books in half to make them more portable. Does anyone... Yes, it's just you, you asshole. And I hope you get drop kicked off a cliff into into a rocky water reef. Else do this? Is it just me? Yeah, I feel like this is the best trolling the internet will probably ever see. No, no, no one else does that. And if you do want to ironically do that, get a fucking Kindle, dude. Yeah. Good lord, what kind of nonsense is this? What the hell? I couldn't wait to get to the car to post this. So, I stayed at this dude's house, and before I left, he said, grab a bag. No the hell he did not. Uh, Miss Sierra. 
Be grateful, you toxic bint. Sorry, he's gone to all that there just to make sure... To give you stuff that you'll like, and it gives you 40 bucks. Yeah, sorry. I had to make sure that it said 20s. God, how much of a toxic bint can you be? He gave you 40 wow. bucks and a bunch of snacks. What's the issue? In 1996, yeah. a Hong Kong gangster kidnapped the son of billionaire business magnate, Sir okay. Ha Xing Li, and went to the tycoon's house to personally collect a ransom of 130 million USD. After releasing wow. his son, the kidnapper called him and asked for advice on how to invest the ransom money. Oh, wow. Dude, you got, a, uh, you got the equivalent of 130 million dollars. In 1996, that should absolutely last you the remainder of your entire existence. And mm -hmm. hey, maybe even more more than that all oh, right the kidnapper was executed never so it did whoops so the money did last the rest of his life it it went beyond his life mind <laughs> no wow. uh, you got a little ballsy there must say yeah. yes this is genuinely a stand at the ospreys match forget the mm -hmm. red double decker bus at uh, what saracens I, um, I mean oh okay 223 hour video wow that's so neat and probably entertaining mm -hmm. reported this to youtube so they have to watch the whole thing yeah i've got <laughs> a sneaky suspicion that's 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 brilliant yep never been how it works, but it sounds funny, though. Mad it Lad is. defends drinking 81 pints of Guinness over the weekend and hits back... Uh, I'm not hating, but how are you alive? ...at critics. Okay, 81 pints over the weekend. Wow! It was a one-off. Beat his previous record of 78. I assume he means a once-a-year thing rather than something he does every week or so. I really hope... How yeah. long can you realistically survive drinking that much? I consider myself to be a pretty heavy drinker, and holy lord! <laughs> I met my pops six years ago on my 22nd birthday, and this guy said, What you been up to? Like he's seen me the other day. I was like, mm. Come on, I've been up to a whole lot of sh since 1989. Wow. What the hell's wrong with you? And mm. he got mad. Huh. So he's in. Well, if you're not going to be in your son's life, it's like that. If that dad is not going to be in his son's life, then really, he ha what moral high ground does he think he's got? Acting like he's got some moral high ground after missing out on his son's life. So really, if any dad does this to their kid and decide one day, oh, I'll suddenly, I'll get, oh, they're doing better without me, I must get mad, like, huh? Sorry, if you're that kind of dad, then that's a you problem. Insane. When the 2011 tsunami hit his hometown of mm. Ishinomaki, Hideaki Akaiwa was at work. Realizing his wife was trapped in their home, wow. he ignored the advice of professionals who told him to wait for the army to arrive to provide search and rescue. Instead, he found a wetsuit, jumped in the mm. raging torrent, dodging cars, wow. houses, and other debris, being dragged around by the powerful current, any of which could mm. have killed him instantly, and navigated the now submerged streets in pitch dark and freezing water until he found his house. Swimming inside, he discovered his wife alive on the upper wow. level with only a small amount of breathing room and pulled her out to safety. If he had waited for the army, his wow. wife of 20 years would be dead. Oh, and if that's not enough badassery for one lifetime, he realized his mother was also unaccounted for, wow. so jumped back into the water and managed to save her life as well. For mm. weeks after the disaster, he entered the water every day on a one-man search wow. and rescue mission. Mission? Hmm, that's not usually how you say that word. No, it's mission. <laughs> Saving countless lives and proving that two natural disasters in a single Mad day respect. and insurmountable odds can't stand in the way of love this man is a hero the main i mean that's a kind of an understatement that is mad mad respect for this man wow better man well it's not difficult better man than not i'll ever be character has appeared we must give him more quests and build his xp oh See, shut again, up Freaking incredible. That's yeah. the sort of thing I'm surprised Hollywood has not tried to make a movie out of, or anyone for that matter. Of course, I say that and someone's gonna put a goddamn comment down below about the 2011 Japanese mermaid man or something mm. like that and prove me wrong. However, just what the hell? Mm. How have I not heard about this? 
It's one of the most incredible things I have ever heard in my life, and there's absolutely nothing provided that makes me believe it. I'm sorry, the internet has turned me into this type of person. Nigerian scammer once sold a fake airport to an international bank for $242 million. Wow. I don't believe that for one second. Then he went to jail and got his money confiscated, and then when he got out of jail, he sued and got $52 million back. How'd that work? Woman wow. hates selfies and decides to photograph herself dead all over the world. I mean, it's more fun than your average selfie, I'll admit. A guy named Dale Schroeder grew up poor in Iowa, never married, had no children, wow. and worked as a carpenter at the same company for 67 years and only owned wow. two jeans. Two jeans? Wow. He spent all his life savings to send 33 students to college. Wow. Man, you know, this is the sort of thing that, well, probably, probably true. Again, I'm not going to get too held up on that. No. Why the hell did you type only owned two jeans it's meant to be two pairs of jeans i mean they must be well kept if they lasted that long what dedication i see you shiver with anticipation mm. five years he waited wow. five years just you wait until remind me five years ha 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 ha, ha. that's oh, so yeah, fun. Very fun my indian american friend asked me to do this for him for the act after I got a 35, okay? Mm. Or the ACT after I got a 35. I'm... Okay. No idea. I said I'm white and no one would believe my name was Rahul. Indian man dons girlfriend's disguise wow. to give exam on her behalf. Arrested after failing biometrics. Ah, mm. I see. Well, that... Okay, man. Star Trek fan finds loophole in general relativity and theorized an actual warp drive. In 1994, oh, wow. a Mexican physicist... <laughs> published a paper on the warp drive while still a PhD student and became instantly famous. Okay, how did he figure this out? He did this by manipulating Einstein's equations of general relativity. Mm. This was a purely geometric manipulation. What? I um, won't be able to react to this because my brain is not meant for this kind of science. What you have to understand is that general mm. relativity at its core is about the geometry of space-time. Wow. Einstein showed that gravity is mm. a geometric warping of space-time. By manipulating this geometry to look the way a warp field would look for a spaceship, he made the equations find an answer to the idea of a warp drive. Regardless of whether it was feasible or whether other laws of physics would allow it, it was more of a thought experiment, but his equations are mathematically consistent solutions to Einstein's equations. And this is how his warp drive would work. Take a spaceship wow. and put a bubble of space around it. If you can compress space in front of the bubble and expand space behind the bubble, More then you can science. make the bubble of space along with the spaceship move. This would be like riding a wave on a surfboard. You're not moving on the surfboard, but the surfboard is moving because it is being pushed by the wave. This is where the loophole is in Einstein's speed limit, that nothing can move faster okay. than the speed of light. This speed limit only applies to objects traveling within space, not the movement of space itself. Space can move at any speed. I know that this has no connection to it whatsoever, but why am I getting flashbacks to the movie Explorers right now? Never you know, seen it. Where they built themselves a little spaceship out of an old Tilt-A-Whirl cart and then figured out a way to put it inside of a bubble and travel around the galaxy. Again, you know? never seen This it. is the strangest Mad Lads I've ever seen. Mm, I don't is. believe a minute of it. I mean, physics PhD student is a better and more accurate description for this purpose. That's how okay. FTL travel was solved in the Dark Forest trilogy books as well. Mad Lad wow. Alec. Looking into the boy's eyes, I thought I detected little star shells of madness beginning to form and he asked the young fan to do something for him. Anything, sir, anything. Well, I said, do you think you could promise never to see Star Wars again? He burst into tears. His mother drew herself up to an immense height. What a dreadful thing to say to a child, she barked and dragged the poor kid away. Maybe she was right, but I just hope the lad now in his 30s is not living in a fantasy world of secondhand childish banalities. <laughs> okay, wow. Alec, you gotta chill the hell out, dude. I totally understand that you took the job because it was a job, but mm. you don't gotta be such a dick. Uh, uh, yeah. Man, what in the world? What's the deal, dude? I know it's funny to be a grumpy old man. Look at how long Harrison Ford did that. I mean, it was funny up to a certain point, but my mm. guy, they were a kid. Let them be a kid for a little while. Let them have some fun mm. with something. 
okay? For context, the boy claimed to have seen Star Wars over a hundred times the summer it came out. His mom worked near the local theater, so when his mom took him to work with her, he would just go and watch it multiple times a day while she worked. Oh. A friend of mine from high school saw The Natural over a hundred times. She's now a well-adjusted adult with a career and a family. Turns mm. out, she just really liked the movie and didn't have any problem discerning reality from fantasy. That's the mm. other thing there. I know he probably really didn't truly mean anything by it, but... Dude, you were how old? He's still being a dick. Old, and that was a child. Quit assuming that people around you can't discern reality from fantasy. All right, you're a. Gr There's a saying that I would like to add here, and it's an old Stoic saying that. Uh, keep hold of your youthful, youthful enthusiasms. You'll appreciate them when you're older. Grown ass man. That mm. was a child. All right, chill the hell out. I'm sorry. It's just so weird to me, dude. Mm. Omaha man paints his house in rainbow wow. colors after neighbor said derogatory words about gay men that didn't sit well. Well, that's one I'd believe. We're all petty in our own ways. <laughs> Your neighbor's a cunt. Didn't like the terms? I'm painting my entire house rainbow. All right, screw you, Ted. Woman went on six dates a week to save on. Oh, yeah, we've already seen her. No one cares. No, I haven't. Kid doesn't play around. How about you shut up, object guy? I be smash your head in the desk. See, this is what this whole subreddit's about. Wow. Not bending of space time and creating bubbles that All ride right, Robin, the waves calm of down. faster Jeez. than light trick it out of here. Why okay. did elementary schools Jeez. just occasionally bring in a dude with a big snake? Who was that man? What were his credentials? You mean the reptile guys? They brought in a lot more than a big snake. Wow. There are still good people in this world. This woman just farted so loud in the bathroom, I could feel she was embarrassed. So I farted back just to make her not feel so alone. And wow. By doing that, you probably made everybody feel a little weird. In the 90s, a California man, Steve Commissar, began putting ads in national magazines selling solar-powered dryers for $49.95. Customers would then receive a simple clothes line in the mail. Yeah, that's wow. a lesson they won't soon forget. Some dude just leaked the new SpongeBob movie in its entirety on Twitter. <laughs> that's great. Uh, um, don't watch it. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I, at this point in time, I don't support leaks to a certain extent. I mean, getting info that's probably BS is one thing, but someone just dropping an entire movie on Twitter that a butt ton of people worked on and were probably at least a little bit proud of is kind of crap. And stuff like this is mm. more than likely why so many industries are having serious trouble right now. I mean, not the reason by any stretch of the imagination. Most of it is the A holes and suits at the top to take all of the money and everybody loses their jobs. However, stuff like this absolutely doesn't help anybody at all. And I don't care if this is a 10% on Rotten Tomatoes quality movie. I don't care. Stop it. I mean, geez. Police robot told woman to go away after she tried to report a crime, then wow. sang a song. So it's working <laughs> as intended, I'm sure. Today I discovered my husband has me in his phone as Jennifer Wartman. Could be worse. One of my identical twins has the other twin in his phone as spare parts. Oh. Japanese husband oh. has gone 20 years without speaking to his wife since she upset him. Well, if that's true, and I only oh. say that because it's the daily goddamn mail, if that's true, that sounds like she should have left a long time ago. Just saying. Mm. After a week, he was like, well, I can't just start talking all of a sudden. Uh, it'll just make me look like an asshole. Mm. Yeah, that's what'll make him look like an a-hole. Scottish man Angus Barbieri, I believe, fasted for 392 days Ooh. from June 14th, 1965 to July 11th, 1966. He lost 276 pounds and set a record for the length of a fast. He consumed only vitamins, electrolytes, and an unspecified amount of yeast, a source of of all essential amino acids and zero calorie beverages such as tea, coffee, and sparkling water. Now this one, I am gonna Google. Hey, look at that. You just Google world record fasting length or whatever. And yeah, that does appear wow. to be true, but that is kind of insane. Um, did he do any exercising or like 392 days without any real food is, I don't know how to Really dangerous. I don't care what people say, but congratulations that man for losing all that weight, but I still wouldn't... I've done the 24-hour fasting, and that's about as much as I can tolerate. Because that was difficult enough. The thing is, with fasting, if you do the 24-hour fast, you've got to eat the next day. 
or else your body really suffers. I can't go into specifics because we'll be here too long. Torturously crappy that must have been. Seriously. Mm. I've gone one, two, three days in my life without really eating a whole lot. Like a whole lot, not nothing. And I wanted to die. What the hell? Just shows you how privileged I've been in my life. Mm. I'd like to summarize recruiting in the summer of 2022. Today, we approached a man in a full duck costume flipping a car wash sign in 96 degree heat. We offered him 35K and a job. He told us to f off. I think I'm going to get a cheap bottle of liquor, find a park bench, and contemplate plate life. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he's probably heard stories from, I don't know, maybe friends or family members that joined up and mm. found out that that number has a lot of cap. Or it could be how veterans are treated and uh, basically practically no one, no government gives, gives a crap about veterans. And nowadays, unless this is your, you want to be in the armed forces, a lot of people are saying, what's the point? Because you go... You go there, do what you need to do, be a veteran, come back and be despot, get thrown... Get thrown out of... Um, oh, was it? Basically, get discarded like an like a empty cigarette packet. And... It's bad enough in the UK where... You know, veterans are not really cared for about, and small organizations like the British Legion that are supposed to help veterans are slowly dying. And every government that's come and goes say they're going to do stuff, but they never do because they don't care. They never have and they never will. And, pe and the odd politician says, oh, they care about veterans and that, yet they, they do next to fuck all for veterans so it just makes you wonder what is the fucking point Caveats, sorry or isn't true or this or that or i don't know man hey man i know you're wearing this stupid getup in 96 degree heat for crappy pay how would you like to wear a heavier stupid getup in 120 degree heat 5,000 miles from home for crap pay all while surrendering your personal autonomy shocking he refused mm. also people are shooting at you never mm. forget when a, it's celtics right yeah, Celt celtic. it's, not, it's not celtics right never forget when a celtic fan didn't have a scarf so he held up his child instead i mean yeah, wow. man. i knew my girlfriend was going to dump me so i set up a profile called ad profile on her netflix account and three years later i'm still watching yeah we've read yours a few times new I've rock paper scissors it. just dropped canine bites cow mm -hmm. deputy tases canine cow kicks deputy but what does it really mean anti-lgbtq street preacher drowned out with saxophones on new york street good keep it going mm. swedish prison guards forget to lock cells during friday night the guards to well a prison i can't read the name of in sweden forgot to lock six prisoners into their cells three of which were sentenced to murder to mur what Ooh. the prisoners took the opportunity to bake brownies and watch tv one of the best evenings we've had in a long time says one of the prisoners i I mean, cool. Mm. Kids continue gaming during a 2021 typhoon in the Philippines. Wow. I mean, dude, gaming is life, bro. Smart move, putting the electrical sockets that high. Hopefully an eel won't swim up their pants while they're distracted. Mm. Yeah. Oklahoma 13-year-old believed to be the first person ever to beat Tetris. Yes, this was some awesome shit. Mm. And the woman that dunked on him can still get bent. Oklahoma's mm. known for only two things. Tornadoes and breeding Tetris masters. You sure that's all? <laughs> wow. How did he get 35 in the first place? Did you know? Meet this man from Japan, Takashi Miyahawa, who was arrested for having 35 girlfriends at the same time. He did this to receive expensive birthday gifts on different days. Wow. I know that's not, I would not recommend that, but because it's, it makes you a shitty person. But I didn't realize there was a law against it in Japan. Yeesh. He's throughout the year. <laughs> wow. My favorite fart story goes back, wow, 20 years ago to seeing The Return of the King in the theater. I was on a pretty hot date, and you know how that film drones out like five endings? Mm -hmm. Well, right after the scene where the eagles pick up Frodo and Sam, it gets all quiet. The audience is holding their breath thinking, is that it? Some brilliant gift of humanity, who deserves the 12th Oscar, sitting on a massive popcorn and chicken fingers time bomb, decided at the perfect moment to hit the dump valve, ripping a massive muffled seat slapper that abruptly destroyed everyone's suspense. 
A second later, the next scene fades into Frodo in bed and Gandalf staring at him as he starts to laugh. Well, so too did the entire <laughs> theater. Such a funny memory wow. that it survived two decades. Japanese man 35 has four wives <coughs> and two girlfriends, hasn't worked in 10 years as he lives off of them. Okay, wait, for a very, very wow. brief second, I thought it was another article about the guy from, what, the, from like two posts ago, right? Mm. Except he had 35 girlfriends, no wives. Uh, 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 what the hell's going on over there? Mm. It's a thing over there, actually. He's a professional house husband. He cooks and cleans oh, for working okay. women, like a personal butler you're legally allowed to sleep with. Am I not allowed to sleep with a personal butler? Is that illegal? Alfred looking mighty breedable right now. I completed <laughs> oh, all my fire rate using only a Magikarp. This was okay. the worst experience ever. I'm currently throwing together a YouTube video to highlight the run. I hope that that's out. What? Found this randomly and someone please release Half-Life 3 for my man. Hmm. Hazard time. All right. We see. Uh -huh. Daily Half-Life 3 update. Day 1967. Jeez. 1966. 1965. Good lord, my guy, I'm sorry, but you're probably going to have to let this one go for a yep. good long while. Just let the it go. Westermans caught a 573-pound marlin on a line meant to catch four-pound fish in 1995. Mm. His record still stands today. Good lord. How did, how, how did that work? How do I watch in Australia? Roku's working on it. In the meantime, there's a VPN, very probably no, way wow. to watch it legally. I'm sure you have a torrent of other questions, but I have to move along. Wow. Sorry. Funnily enough, the physical copy that I bought first actually came from a little boutique seller of physical media from mm. Australia. Weird that they couldn't stream it immediately. Met a bunch of guys from Harvard yesterday, and I kept pretending like I had never heard of that school just to piss them <laughs> off. One of them legit turned red when I said, Harvard, is that like a local community college? I'm hard for her. Reminds me of my coworker who, whenever she sees a Tesla at a gas station or something, she'll look over and go, wow, the new Toyotas look really cool. <laughs> the drivers lose their minds. What wow. you gonna do? Send a train? What does it mean when it says launch the train? <laughs> I win! An Australian guy, Bill Morgan, was declared dead for 14 minutes. He somehow survived. To celebrate his survival, he bought a scratch card and won a $27,000 car. I the media I asked him to reenact the scratch card moment, so he bought another card and won another $250,000 <laughs> jackpot. God's trying wow. to apologize. Yeah. Oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I getting com compensation from heaven. I do believe you can actually watch this one unfold <laughs> from the news station, which is kind of cool. Wow. I just won 250,000. <laughs> I'm not joking. This is my dad when he married my mom. I asked him, why were you dressed like this to the wedding? And he said, your mom invited me to the wedding, but she didn't tell me who. Okay, oh. that's weird. Spotted this mad lad cruising downtown Nashville's bar district at 14 degrees with no windows and no doors. Oh, you got his dune oh, buggy out, man. Yeah. I hope he's bundled up nice and warm. Where are you? I left early. Sorry I couldn't stay longer. W wh where are you going? I'm going home. Are you kidding me? Come back. You're drunk. Don't worry, I called an Uber. We drank at your place. Oh, oh. where am I going? Wow, seriously? Get the driver on the phone. Okay, totally get it. <laughs> Can you stop being a dick though? Like, I totally understand that you're probably more mad about maybe this person's safety or something like that, but... Jesus Christ, I've been pretty damn drunk and I'd be kind of sad when I woke up in the morning and saw how kind of weirdly offensive you are being. Offensive, not offensive. I feel like there's a difference here. <laughs> like, dude, chill the out. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's really not that deep and it's not that big a deal. It's just something that, you know, I, I feel differently when it comes to text messages from time to time. Imagine being like, this is probably a fake alarm or we'll take five nukes. <laughs> Either way, it's fine. Uh, I can't read that. No. Uh, he was a Lieutenant Colonel of the Soviet Air Defense Force who played a key role in the 1983 Soviet nuclear false alarm incident. On September 26th, 1983, three weeks after the Soviet military had shot down Korean Airlines Flight 007, Petrov was the duty officer at the command center for the Oko Nuclear 
early morning system when the system reported that a missile had been launched from the United States, followed up by five more. Petrov judged the reports to be a false alarm. Apparently, he later said that one of the reasons he decided that it was a false alarm was because he reasoned that if the United States was genuinely trying to nuke the Soviet Union, they would use a heck of a lot more than five nukes. American mm. mad lads could have been nuking the Soviet Union just a little bit. Hungry photographer deletes all photos and leaves after being denied food at the wedding. <laughs> I don't... Why would you deny them food? Wow. Have a take on this whatsoever. I really don't care. I just don't. It doesn't matter, man. I mean, how much would it have cost you to let the guy eat a bit of food? Or her, too. I mean, it looks like she's also... Yeah, wh where is the problem with them having a bit of food? Wow. I'm sorry, but you deserve to have your wedding photos deleted. If you're going to be that, that, that much of an asshole. Your photo the both of them. The both of them. How much would that have cost you to do? Last time this was posted, someone oh. said the cameraman was a friend of the couple and he was taking photos as a favor. I have no idea if that's true, but if it is, it adds another level of assholery to the story. This is true. If memory serves, he was a dog groomer who took good photos of dogs and offered to do their wedding for only a couple hundred bucks. Mm. It was hot, it was summer, and he was not allowed to take breaks. He wasn't allowed to eat, he wasn't allowed to drink, and he wasn't allowed to go to the bathroom being denied a plate at dinner well that was just the last straw wow jesus that's where okay but where'd you get all that in don't be friends with them tell them straight that whoever is getting married are are a bunch of cunts and they deserve they deserve all the hate they get info from he wasn't allowed to go to the bathroom who Bullsh does that to people I mean, i'm sorry i just how would they enforce that are they gonna bar him from the bathroom i'm very confused professional photographer here when doing a wedding it's practically assumed you're going to be eating at the wedding with whatever catering they do on a wedding day you're there basically 9 a.m if not earlier depending on the drive and get home maybe around 11 p.m if not midnight most of the work goes into setting up stock images for photoshop later the ceremony photographing the dress the ceremony itself entrance father handing daughter off to groom the kiss which you damn better well make sure that you're getting perfect Perfectly. Well, because there's no second chance there. And organizing groups post-ceremony. Usually you'll have a list ahead of time, along with making sure you have pictures of the marriage license being signed. Once the reception starts, there's honestly a few things you still need to hit. Mother-son, father-daughter dance, bouquet toss, wedding party entrance, etc. But they don't happen in quick succession like the ceremony itself does. Plenty of downtime between everything to grab something to eat from catering. It's an asshole move not to allow the photographer to do that. It absolutely is. Yeah. I don't care what you're paying them. How much more could it really cost to let them eat? Wow, that was an infuriating last note. Let me just get that off the screen. Wow, that was... Um, well done to that photographer for standing up for himself. I hope that, the, that, that so-called happy couple got a shit ton of hate because you don't why would you do that to a photographer they go through all that work to to have per your perfect pictures and you do that to them sorry I, that was just a oh, sorry for that little rant just wow I mean I can be a little bit of a dick sometimes but fucking hell Well, sorry, I just, my brain just froze, and, and, um, well, that, that was it for that video, this is an, another r slash mad lads, um, uh, subreddit with Robin, and, um, yeah, that was a good video, so, um, if you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe, and, uh, and try and help me get to a thousand subs, and I will see you in the next video.